What's up guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to have an eye look because my nose piercing that I got, which you guys probably don't know about unless you follow me on Instagram, I got a nose piercing. And when I went to Palm, I wore a full face of makeup so my nose piercing ended up getting infected. So I'm staying away from doing a full face of makeup so that the infected can go infected. I'm just done. Whatever. So it can heal. There, let's just say that. Anyways, I know it's been a long time since I've posted, so I'm just going to go through and tell you guys why I've been gone so long. I'm just going to go by weekends, because the weekends is when I usually have the most time to film and edit for YouTube. So, April 21st was prom. I was busy the whole entire day. And then the 28th was my birthday, so I was busy that day. And then, I don't even know what the heck, what day comes next. It's like May something... That weekend I had my SAT and then during the whole week of those past like couple weeks I had SBAC testing for school and then May something to something, I don't know. This week of May that just passed and then the next week of May I have, oh wait, hang on, I got this. What was yesterday? Yesterday was the 11th, so that Monday to the 11th was... AP testing and then let's see the 14th to whatever the Friday is is more AP testing so I have both of those weeks of AP testing and the week after that seniors have AP have not AP seniors have finals but since I have seniors in some of my classes I have to take my finals then too and then those finals also for seniors continue the week after that and then the week after that week everybody else has their finals so I have more finals then so I've been Really, really, really busy. Haven't had any time to film, so I'm sitting down right now, and I'm going to film for you guys. And so let's just go on and get into the video after that long intro. So let's go. So first off, I'm going to start off by doing my brows, and this isn't going to be a brow tutorial, so I'm just going to do my brows off camera, and then I'm going to come back on camera, and we can start with the eye look. Alright guys, I'm back and my brows are done. I'm just going to let you guys know what I used. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown, so it looks like that. And then I used brush 7B. I think this might be the one for like the powder brow one, but they didn't have the other one, so that was what I got when I got this. Then for the concealer, I used a Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector Base 1. I find that this works way better because... I don't know, I just do, like I have Tarte Shape Tape and I just feel like the Tarte Shape Tape is too dark like around my brows so it doesn't like give them lightness that it needs. That's just me personally, you guys can use whatever the heck you feel like using. And then I set it in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, ah, I dropped it, <laughs> clear brow gel. It just looks like this and it's clear. And my eyebrows don't look good at all. Probably the fastest I've ever done them. I literally did my eyebrows in three minutes, okay? New world record. I'm kidding, I don't really know. Um, anyways, it took, I did not feel like spending 30 minutes on doing my brows. Y'all probably like, it takes you 30 minutes? Yes, because when I got my eyebrows waxed, the lady messed up on this one and she took way too much off. So this eyebrow is way smaller than this eyebrow. And then my eyebrows are now like growing more after I've got them waxed. So then I have to pluck this one. But then I have to... Not pluck this one, but also pluck it at the same time because then there's hairs all over in different places and it looks really, really weird. So I'm just really upset because then I have to draw on, like, part of my eyebrow and it looks so fake and I just don't like it. But, anyways, enough of that. Let's just get into this eye look. So first I'm gonna... Sorry, my hair is bothering me. That's why I'm wearing this headband, if you all haven't noticed. It's to keep my hair out of my face and stuff, but it's still in my face whatever um, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with part shape tape in the shade light neutral yeah light neutral I'm trying to memorize my stuff so I don't have to keep looking at it uh, I, I I'm just gonna I know this isn't sanitary but I'm just gonna put it on my eye and then no I'll just I'll put it on my hand there to make people happy there you go kidding I'm just gonna put this all on my lid to prime my eyelid for the eyeshadow look that we're going to be doing. I 
I just like going in with my finger afterwards and smoothing it all out because when you use a brush it leaves uh, brush marks all over it so I just like doing that. I'm not going to do my other eye because then it's not like right then and there like it's already after I finish one eye it's been like forever and then the other eye it just doesn't look good when you go to put color on and it's been sitting there for a really really long time. It just doesn't. If y'all like doing both eyes you guys can go ahead and do that. It's just whatever you feel like doing. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette. I got this. It was a birthday present. It didn't come in on my birthday, but yeah. So if y'all don't know what, the, what it looks like, it looks like this. And this is... I don't know how much. I, um, I used a 10% off discount from um, another MUA makeup artist. I don't know what that means. There's many of them. I'm not trying to promote people. But I know James Charles has one, it's code James, and then Dupe That has one, and it's Dupe That, and those are the people that, oh, I just got concealer on my, okay, whatever. Those are the people that I follow, that I use, I also follow, follow and watch Laura Lee, so you guys can, if you want to use one of those, you can, whatever you want, I'm not trying to promote them, I'm just saying that was how I got the 10% discount, and then with shipping and tax and everything, it came out to like 28 something, so... I don't remember how much the palette was, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, it doesn't have a mirror because I already showed you guys that, but it doesn't have a mirror. And I'm just going to put this out there. I was trying to have this palette for my giveaway. And then I ordered, this one I ordered for me. And then I wanted to order another one for my giveaway. But now it's off the website and like at first you're saying out of stock. And then when I went back to go see if it was back in stock, it's completely off their website. So I have no idea if, like, they're not making it anymore, which I don't see why they would. It's their best-selling palette. It's always sold out. But for some reason, it's off the website. So when it comes back on the website, I will be getting that for you guys for my upcoming giveaway, which is was supposed to happen, like, last week. I wanted to get it up this weekend. But I have a bunch of stuff coming in. I have stuff from Sephora coming in. So right now I have two things for the giveaway, and that's why I really honestly wasn't even going to use this palette, because I was like, well, if Morphe doesn't restock it in time, I'll just put mine and then buy, like, one for me later on, but I just decided to use it because I've been dying to use it, and you know what, if they don't have it in stock, I'll get a different Morphe palette and then get the 35B palette for another um, giveaway. Anyways, enough talking, I'm just going to take... This white shade, they don't have names, but well, one thing I don't like is when palettes don't have names, but it's the white shade. And I'm just going to put this on, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't going to put this on my eye because a lot of people say, like, if you don't set it, then the colors pop up brighter. But I wanted to use the white to see if, like, the white would make the color show up more, but it didn't really make my eye that much brighter. Uh, I don't know what look I'm going to do today. I wanted to do like a sunset look. Then I wanted to do a sunset with a purple. Then I wanted to do like a purple and blue. I have no freaking idea what I'm going to do. Hmm. Don't freaking know. Hmm. The bright yellow is colored by name. It's just hopping. We're going to do a sunset look. I've never done a sunset look, so. If this goes good, then yay. If it doesn't, then oh well, I tried. Okay. We're going to take, I don't. No. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go in with this shade and put that in my crease. That one right there. Let's just hope this goes good. Oops, I put that color way too high up. Oh well. This shade is not very pigmented, and I don't like that. I had high hopes for this, and right now it's being, it's very disappointing, because I'm having to keep going in and in and in, just to get the color that I want. Like, I've seen people use it, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so pigmented, and then some people said, like, it's not pigmented, but a lot of people say that it is, but this is not very pigmented. People are going to be like, it is pigmented, okay, but... Not as, if you see it in the pan and you see it on the eye, it's not that pigmented. It's only as pigmented as it, as it is right now because I've gone in like three or four times. 
into the shade and it's not like oh I'm just tapping a little itty bitty and like doo -doo -doo. no it's like I'm going in digging into the palette and it's not really doing much whatever next I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this orange I'm the orange really on this side this yellow it's been a rough week for me I literally AP testing, studying and everything, haven't been able to sleep because you're so stressed from all the AP tests, so I'm running off like barely any sleep. I'm just going to put this up here and try to blend it in. Where is the pigment? Like y'all see it on the brush. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. This just looks like crap. Like, I'm sorry. It looks horrible. It looks horrible. Whatever. I'm gonna take, um, Real Techniques, since it's like an angle shadowed brush, and I'm still just gonna go back into that yellow. I just wasn't feeling that brush right now. You know what? We will make this work. We will make this work. It might be a long video, because I... Literally, I think it's been a month since I've actually done, no, it's, it hasn't been a month since I've done my makeup. I did my makeup, I think it was like last weekend. Yeah, because um, I had my SAT and then I had a banquet to go to on the same day. Um, last weekend. So I did my makeup, but it wasn't even like, I literally did like a brown, like a brown in the crease. And it's like a brown shimmery shade, like a brown shimmery shade on my lid in mascara. And I was like, bye. Of course, it's like. I like and bronzer and stuff, but like for eyeshadow, it was super, super, super simple. So it's really that literally took like two minutes to do. I haven't done any like really big outgoing looks in forever, so really rusty because I just haven't been, we haven't had the time to do makeup. Now I'm gonna take, I don't know what brush this is, I have no freaking idea. It's a shading brush from Real Techniques. So I'm gonna go into. Sorry, my hair's bothering me. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this red shade. I hope you guys saw that. I was, I'm moving really, really fast. I'm gonna pack that, like, right here. If it would like to show up, that would be nice. This look just looks absolutely horrible. I'm sorry. I keep saying that. I'm going to be like, shut up. It looks good. Like, no, it doesn't. It looks like shit. I don't know. I just don't like this look. Hopefully it was like adding more colors. It just gets better. But I have no idea if that's going to be the case. take this brush it is a base shadow brush but it really it's kind of like it's fluffy enough to be a blending brush so that's why I like to use it for I'm gonna go into this orange shade right here I'm gonna put that hmm I don't know if I should do above or below I just sat on my nose yep lovely I'm just gonna put that like right above this I'm just really trying to blend these colors together and hopefully get something that looks like some sort of sunset look. So right now it's just not looking that good. Alright, I'm just going to go back into that same orange shade and just keep blending that in here. Next, I'm gonna take this the angled shadow brush. I'm gonna go back into that yellow shade from earlier and just blend that all right here. I'm really just trying to blend all of these colors together. I 
If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm cleaning my brushes with this quick change brush clean from Acasa Beauty. I do have a discount code. I don't remember it off the top of my head, so I'll just put it in the... Oh, hair in my, ew, hair in my mouth. I'll just put it on the screen. It's also linked down below with all my other discount codes. This is really, really good because it's like cleaning your brushes without having to go and clean them. So when you use multiple brushes for a look with like multiple different colors, you can use the same brushes over and over again without having to clean them. I'm going to go into like this. Oh, I got my finger right now. Like this shade right here. It's like an orangey peachy shade, kind of. It's like a light orange shade. Does it want to get in my Hopefully, this shows up. I'm just going to put that right here in my crease to just try to give a better transition from like the bright orange that I put on to the yellow. So, have make a better transition shade in there. Hopefully, this turns out good. I was probably holding the mirror in the way again. I'm sorry. This did not turn out how I thought it would. Whatever. Looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go back into the red shade from earlier. I'm just going to pack this on here a little bit more. I feel like this looks okay. It just looks okay. Whatever. I don't know if I'm going to do both eyes. Hmm. I don't know. So I want to do multiple looks. I could just take it off and then do another look. I just got my finger in another shade. Okay. Sorry, there's hair. Um, I'm just going to go and do the other eye off camera. Drop my mirror. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Then come back on camera and try some mascara and lashes and blah, 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 blah. We'll see. Alright, guys. So I'm back. And I feel like we got the eyes to look pretty similar. This time might look a little different because I'm so tired. I dipped into the wrong like pinky peach shade. I picked, I accidentally dipped into one that had like a shimmery sparkle in it. I didn't realize it until I'd already put it on and I was like, dang. I wasn't going to start over so I just went with it and tried to make it all look as similar as possible and I feel like this eye look turned out pretty good. Except for like all that part that's stuck underneath. I, but whatever. Let's see. Uh, okay. I'm pretty much just gonna take the exact same shades that I put up here down here. Actually, that doesn't make. Oh yeah, that just makes sense. I'm gonna go in with the red, and then the red, and then the bright orange. So the right red orange so I like mixed them together and I'm just going to try to put that into my little lash line here I'm going to do the same thing to my other eye real quick got it in my eye Someone's gonna get on me and be like, you should be using another brush, a different brush. I usually do, I just don't feel like going to get that brush because I don't have my makeup stuff here, it's on the other side of the room. Alright, now I'm just gonna clean this brush off. Oh, by the way, this is the Mikasa Beauty E320 brush. In case y'all were wondering. Then I'm gonna take that yellow shade. And then just try to buff out or blend out the bottom.
I feel like this bottom lash one looks way better than this one. So, I'm gonna go back into the red and orange again and just add it some to that lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to clean the brush off real quick, and then go back into the yellow shade, and just blend it out a little bit. Alright, I feel like that looks pretty good. I don't know why I closed my mirror, I still need it. mascara on for mascara today I'm going to be using Great Lash by Maybelline this is literally the only mascara I have actually I have another one but it's like really old and getting dried up so I probably shouldn't use it actually I have like three other ones but it's like the Tartis the Tarte Tartis mascara they have the Tarte uh it's like ready set lash I don't know something it's waterproof and then I have one by Lancome, which I've all I've used all of those in my videos before, but those have are like pretty much empty and dried out. So this is the only one I have left to use, and I don't feel like going out and buying another mascara when I have one to use, even though it's not. It doesn't give me the effect that I want with my lashes, but whatever. It's what we're gonna be using. This is also the mini size. I don't even know if they sell it in stores. I got this in a little package. So I'm just gonna put this on my top lashes right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so hard on this look. I'll fix it later. I forgot to curl my lashes. Too late now. Someone's gonna be like, no, you can still curl them. I don't like curling them once I have mascara on. That's just me. If y'all like curling your lashes after you put mascara on, do you? You can put on your curl your lashes after. I tell you it look really, really weird when I curl this side and then don't curl the other side, but whatever, we're just gonna do it. It doesn't really make much of a difference in my lashes. My lashes are already really, really long. So, it doesn't really matter, but. Are you kidding me? I hate this mascara. Yes, that's one of the reasons why. Because anytime I do an eye look that I put mascara on, in every single look, it gets on the eyelid. All of my other mascaras that I had would not do that. Like maybe once or twice if I really messed up and literally like touched the thing to it. Other than that, it didn't do that. It's so one thing that really upsets me about this mascara. Now I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in with this little like packer brush type of thing and try to fix this. So I'm just gonna get. Now I'm going to add lashes. I'm gonna be using lay lashes in the style London. I don't think they even sell these anymore, but. Whatever, these are the ones that I'm gonna be using. Can't ah my nail. Anyway, 
anyways I don't know I don't remember how many how much these lashes are but a lot of Lily, a lot of the Lily lashes are $29.99 some of them I think are $19.99 and they have some bundles these are pretty expensive lashes people have been saying they've been finding these at Marshalls which is what I did I found these ones at Marshalls for $7.99 I really want to get the ones in the style Miami, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to order them on Sephora. And they re recently sent me this thing because I missed, well, I didn't miss, I just didn't buy anything during the VIP sale they had. So they sent me this thing and we're like, hey, we missed you. Here's 15% off you can use. I don't know if they did that for everybody, but I know I got that email, so I think I'll use it on that. Anyways, ooh, I have to trim the lashes. Oh, this is what they look like. I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes and hopefully I don't mess up the bottom lash line. That's all I'm gonna do. I usually go way darker with my lower lashes, but like I already kind of messed up that under eye. I don't want to do it to this one. might add some eyeliner on the top of your all right so i'm not going to use my normal one this is actually uh this is the runner k 24 7 waterline eye pencil the shape legend but i'm not going to use it on my waterline i'm just going to use it here Make it look like as if like that lash where that lash is is where like the eyeliner is. I think I just like ruined this look, honestly. Stick to this one part because it's glue. Good enough. Alright, guys, so a bunch of my footage from when I filmed this got like deleted or misplaced or something. I was in the middle of editing it and I'm like, dang, like half the stuff I filmed is gone. So if the video's a little messed up, that's why. But I'm refilming my outro right now because it's just, it's gone. So this is what the eye looks like when the camera like shut off or whatever it did something. So in the middle of putting eyeliner on, I tried to do that because this eyelash, I don't know which one it was, one of them, you could see where the eyelash ended and you could see like the black part. So I tried to like add the eyeliner to try to mix it in and make it work. It doesn't look that great. Sorry, I remember something. It doesn't look that great, but this is what the eye looks like and right now it's like the evening and i filmed it the morning so i'm sorry if it looks different i honestly i'm really really sorry but i'm just gonna go back through what i did right now not right now but when i filmed so i'm gonna take the fenty beauty the gloss and, and it's called gloss foam it's the universal one it's my all-time favorite lip gloss i'm not like a super lip gloss person because i usually just don't like lip glosses because they're too like sticky and stuff but this one's really really good I'm just gonna apply that here. Okay, I like totally messed up that part. Also, another thing, I'm trying to get um, one of these for my giveaway. I'm not trying to get it's in my cart with a bunch of other stuff that I'm ordering for the giveaway. I just have to place the order. I just have to figure a lot of stuff out because of the Morphe thing. I'm trying to, since it's not on the road, I'm trying to pick other stuff from Sephora to make up for not having it for this giveaway so anyways there's another sneak peek of what's going to be in my giveaway and this is a completed look 
I don't know why I did that, don't even ask. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to, su to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already.